Hello, I'm Francis Cunningham and I'm a concertina player from County Clare. Uh, welcome to the Online Academy of Irish Music. In this lesson, we'll learn a hornpipe called Kit O'Mahony's in G major with a focus on chords. I got this tune um, from uh, an album that came out a couple of years ago um, called Tracing from Garrod O'Halloran and Patrick Orso. Uh, it's also in O'Neill's. So I'll play it through. Um, so it goes like this. So here's the first phrase, it's in the key of G, so C natural. And then the second phrase um, goes like this. And then the next phrase is the very same as the first. So it goes like this. Let's try it again. And then the last phrase, it changes completely, it goes up high. And try that again. And if you were going into the second part, the last note would be D. So if I was going into the second part, it would sound like this. So let's try the first part twice over, nice and slow. On two, so one, two.
second part. So um, the second part, it all stays in G. So um, C naturals again. So here's the first, um, the first two bars. So it goes like this. again and then the next two bars go like this that again and then the third phrase um, we have uh, a couple of really long notes so a long G followed by a long F so this phrase goes like And then the part, the, the part ends the same way as the first part. So you're already familiar with this phrase, but let's try it anyway. It goes like. We'll try it again. There's the second part. So let's try it together twice over, nice and slow. One, two. So that's the tune. So now onto the chords. Um, so what I quite, I quite like to do on the long B at the start of that tune is to to play a G chord. So we'll be we'll be coming across these chords quite a bit in our series of tunes with a focus on chords. Um, so the there's a long B at the start of quite a few phrases in the first part. So that B. What goes nice with a B in, in this tune is G. So we're playing the B on the right hand side. So we need to look for G or G's um, that are a that are, uh, pull as well, like the B. So we'll be coming across these in other tunes. So what I, what I want to play with it is two low G, two G's, a regular G and a low G. So on the left hand side, um, now 
my concertina has extra buttons in it on, on either side. So that's something to bear in mind throughout these lessons. So I have two extra buttons on top here, another extra one here. So ignore these and it's the same on the other side. So don't let those confuse you because your concertina mightn't have them. So the first note we need um, in order to go with our B is a G that's on the pull. So on the outer row, that's the row furthest away from your, your hand, so the, the outer row, you go to the second button down from the top, that one, and you play it with your second finger and you pull on the bellows. So I'm pulling on the bellows there. Okay. So the outer row, second button down from the top, second finger, right? So that's the first note with the card. Then the next note we're going to put with the card is at the very, very bottom of the concertina. You'll see there's three notes at the very bottom. It's the one in the middle, and that's a low G. And we'll be playing that with our, with our baby finger. And that's out as well. So we'll play those two notes together, low G and your regular G. So very important now that you use your second finger for this one not the top finger because you need to keep that top finger free for notes that are about to come up after the the card so make sure that finger is free so g and low g and then play that with the b on the right hand side and you get a really nice three note card and that's a very nice um start to the tune now if you find that's a bit heavy or too loud you could always leave one of the notes out so you might want to leave the low g out and just play it with the regular g that's quite nice also. Or just the low G in its own. But I like to use the two. So where I would probably do it would be on the repeat of the first part. So I'd end the first part and I'd go back to play it again. It's a nice place to play a chord. I wouldn't start a tune on a chord generally. Um, so let's play the, the first part twice and we'll stick that chord in the long B on the repeat. So one, That's a quite nice chord to do. You could do it on any of the long Bs in, in the first part. It would, it would be lovely in all of them. That's the first chord. So the second part then, there's a, a nice opportunity for a really short chord. And um, it's, it's quite uh, an effective chord when it comes to even, to, to rhythm. Um, so it's, on, it's in the first bar and it sounds like this. It's a really short chord. So it's on the long high G in the first bar. That G. So the chord is a G chord again. So it's a really easy chord. It's, it's almost foolproof. It's in a line. So ignore these two buttons again on my concertina. So uh, it's, the chord is on the inside row. So that's the row closest to your, your strap in your hand. So this line. So forget these two. Um, so it's the first one. It's a high D. It's a push, push high D. Then underneath it, there's a push B. And then underneath that is another G. So it's those three buttons and just push them. And you can you can use that card quite a bit in, in lots of other tunes. And we will be in, in other tunes in the series. So in the bar, it sounds like this. It's a nice little short chord. 
and like you could do that on the repeat again it's 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 the same same thing so let's try the the second part and we'll do we'll say, we'll try it twice and we'll do the chord twice so let's try it together one two Now there are two or three other little very easy chords that you can uh, that you can add into that um, towards the end. The long G and long F on the third phrase. Nice to emphasize those. You could just play your regular G and your regular F sharp with them. Something very easy and uh, easily done, and it's, and it's effective. So the the two together. That's a G and an F. And then the last chord to do is as the tune is finishing. So the very last phrase, what I like to do is I like to play G with my push D. That's a quite a, a common chord. So here's the last phrase. cards right so we'll play the tune twice over um the first time round we'll, we'll just focus on the tune and then the second time round we'll introduce our cards so i'll let you know when there's a card coming up let's try it together so one two
Let's get on Mahoney's Hornpipe. In this course, I'll teach 13 simple concertina tunes with a focus on easy chords. If you're interested in watching more lessons, click on the link.